Ouch. Oh, my head is spinning. Who, who was that? If she or he didn't kill me, then they were looking for something else. I need to look around. Seems like my chloroform is missing. I have to speak to Luigi and Officer Cotzi. Good morning, Miss Myers. Anna, is everything all right? You, you look tired. Someone assaulted me last night. What? When I returned home, someone was hiding in my apartment. As soon as I entered, I was attacked from behind. Mio Dio! Did you see who it was? No. It was probably Adriano again. John, I should have called him a long time ago. He could have hurt you. He could, but he didn't. Whoever it was, they didn't come there for me. But what were they looking for in your apartment? I don't know. They only took the chloroform from my medicine chest. We need to find out what's really going on. Luigi, did you collect all the fingerprints yesterday? Yes. Let me put the kit on the table. Good. Let's compare the fingerprints. It seems that only Flavio and Adriano's fingerprints were on the shovel. You see? Adriano did this, and now we have the proof. We only have proof that Adriano touched the shovel, but we do not have any proof that he actually killed Flavio. There might be an innocent explanation why his fingerprints are on it. Actually, yes. Do you remember Tonino, the cemetery caretaker? After his death, Adriano sometimes dug the graves for local funerals. I don't understand. Why are you defending Adriano? He escaped from the cell, attacked Herman, and even assaulted you. What else does he have to do for you to realize that he killed Flavio? I will not allow another murder to happen in my town. There won't be another murder. Flavia was the only person the killer wanted dead. What makes you think so? Yesterday, I found Roberto's diary. The last entry says that Roberto was accidentally pushed off the cliff by Flavio. What? How could Roberto write about it? He was dead. The handwriting was different. It wasn't written by Roberto. My guess is that it was written by Flavio out of guilt. Mamma mia. Then Irene was right all along. But this means that she had a clear motive to kill Flavio. I doubt that Irene was strong enough to deliver the killing blow. And we haven't even found her fingerprints on the shovel. Yes. Right. We'll be right there. Don't do anything without us. We need to hurry to the train station. Herman has just seen somebody near the tunnel. It might be Adriano. Good news. Let's go. Good day, Signora. Which way did he go? I saw him enter the tunnel. All right, let's get him. I'd better stay here. It might be dangerous. Adriano. Great! I found a message. Come to the service room at 11 p.m. 
I will help you to escape. Burn this message after reading. What is it, Miss Myers? Another message, typewritten and anonymous. Again. May I see? Adriano could have typed this message. Adriano was drunk. Do you really think he could plan and execute something like this? He would have needed to find a typewriter and produce these messages in advance, just to confuse us. Damn rope! Luigi, can I help you? I need a knife to cut the rope. Just a minute. I found a knife. Here it is. Oh. Oh. What is going on? Calm down, Signora Hoffman. Everything is all right. You're safe now. Where am I? Oh. What is the last thing you remember? Oh, let, let me think. I, I left the cafe yesterday evening and then... someone called my name on the platform. Who was it? I, I don't know. I, I just heard the voice and I, I didn't see the face. I tried to turn around and then... And? I don't know what happened. I lost consciousness. Did you recognize the voice? Uh, no. No, I can't remember. But it seemed familiar. Adriano, wake up. What, what, what is going on? You are under arrest for murder, jailbreak, and kidnapping. No, wait. You are making a huge mistake. Let me help you, Signora Hoffman. There has to be a third party involved in all of this. It is still unclear who helped Adriano to escape. I'll search the area again. I found a glove. Hmm. This glove looks familiar. I'm sure I've seen somebody wearing it, but just one. And it wasn't here yesterday. This might lead us to something. I need to get back to the police station. Hello, Ronaldo. What are you doing here? Oh, hello, Miss Myers. You scared me. I was looking for some flower pots. Herman said I could find some in the cellar. It is locked up, isn't it? Oh, yes, you're right. I forgot the key. You look tired. Are you all right? I'm fine. Just working long days. I saw Irene and Adriano with the police. Did something happen? It is still unclear, but I can assure you that Irene is fine. Thank goodness. All right, I must go. See you later. Officer Kotze, I want to compare the two messages that we found. But why? I need to clarify one detail. Do as you wish. The messages are on the table. Just as I thought. Both messages were typed using the same typewriter. How do you know? You see, each typewriter has as much individuality as a person's handwriting. There are thousands of typewriters, but no two are exactly alike. If you carefully examine these two messages, you will see that there are identical defects on both of them. Even so, what does this change? Adriano could have been framed. Not again, Miss Myers. We need to find the typewriter that was used to type these messages. It will lead us to the murderer. But we can't check all the typewriters in town. It will take weeks. We don't have to. I think the messages were typed on my typewriter. What? At first, I thought that somebody came to my apartment to steal the chloroform. But they would not know I had it unless they had been there before. So they needed something else. And that was my typewriter. Let's hurry and check it.
See? My typewriter has the same defects. I don't understand. How is this going to help us find the killer? Shouldn't we now arrest you because the messages were typed on your typewriter? You could easily use your creative mind to fabricate this story. What utter nonsense! So what do you propose? Luigi, take fingerprints from my typewriter. Okay, I'll get the kid from the police station. Officer Cotzi, let's go and find Herman. Herman? You don't think that he... Of course not. I just need to ask him something. Herman, I have an important question. Yes? Did you tell Rinaldo that he could take flower pots from the cellar? What are you talking about? I don't have any pots in the cellar. Uh, Miss Myers, what is going on? Rinaldo is involved in all this. What? I bumped into Rinaldo right after we left the service room. He was acting rather strange. He lied about the pots and is now probably looking for his glove. The one I found in the service room. Can you show me the glove? It's hard to believe this. But it is his glove. Let's hurry to the service room. Let's check the service room. Reynaldo, what are you doing here? I, I was looking for a flower pot. I didn't find one in the cellar, so I...